Hulk smash or Hulk pass. Hulk smash. And the Marvel's trailer came out today. It dropped this morning. Uh, the internet, I think, all liked it pretty much because Captain Marvel is one of everyone's favorite superheroes. Yes. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I actually didn't mind the first movie. I thought it was fine. Uh, I, I watched it after everybody hated it. I watched it on, on DVD and Blu-ray like a year or two years after it came out. Like it was well after it came out. Uh, maybe not that long. I watched it before I saw the... Uh, no, I watched it after. I saw Avengers Endgame first, and then I watched uh, Captain Marvel. Oh. So, yeah. So I think... Um, I, I thought it was fine. I mean, it wasn't like the greatest thing I've ever seen, but it was passable. You know, it was like whatever. Uh, but a lot of people are mad at, at uh, Brie Larson more than anything because she... Um, I don't know. She says things. I... I don't care. Uh, so anyway, the Marvel's trailer comes out. I watched WandaVision. I didn't watch Miss Marvel. Um, so this trailer starts, and it starts with uh, uh, Rambo. Rambo? Is that her name? Rambo? John Rambo? John, what's her I, name? I was in Vietnam for a long time. Uh, I don't know her, her name. Her name is Monica Rambo, James. So here's the thing that I have to say. It starts off with Monica Rambo and the whole it seems like she's the main character of this movie. Like it seems like this is a Monica Rambo movie. Uh which is fine, I suppose. The only thing I have to say is people complained about uh, the book of Boba Fett with Mando and Grogu reuniting in that show. And now I've got this movie coming out now where the main character is from another show that doesn't even have the main character of this movie in that show. Anyway, so starts off with that. I saw this trailer. Like I said, I didn't actually mind Captain Marvel. I'm not a hater. It was like whatever. Uh, this trailer, though, I'm going to uh, Hulk smash this one. No, Hulk pass this one, Andrew. It didn't. Um, I don't know when the movie comes out. It didn't. It didn't hook me. I thought Miss Marvel. To uh, in all honesty, uh, Miss Marvel, which I haven't seen that show. I thought she was great in this. I thought that kid was great. I was like, oh, she's got she's got energy. I like her. Uh, but the trailer itself, I like the idea that she can like steal, like swap places. It seemed like it had cool stuff going on. I couldn't figure out what the hell the movie was about, though. Uh, so I'm going to pass on this one. Uh, maybe you release another trailer and I'll like it a little bit more. But I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't in love with it. What about you, Hulk Smash or Hulk Pass? The... Marvel's trailer, um, the Marvels was of the three Marvel movies that we're getting this year, the one I was the least excited for, just, you know, not out of any bad reason for itself, but just because Guardians and Ant-Man seemed like a bigger deal, like they seemed more exciting. Uh, so I was just ready for a trailer to just show me basic plot, whatever. I wasn't like, yes, please show me. And I wasn't, you know, uninterested. So then the trailer came out and I think based on what I saw, I don't think it's the strongest movie trailer, James, but as far as how the trailer makes me feel about the film it's trying to sell, this is a very hard Hulk smash for me because I love the idea of this body swapping. Every time one of them uses their powers, they end up swapping places with the another person. And it's like this triangle of swapping. And that is why, that's a perfect example of why I love the MCU is because they do these things that, yes, it's a superhero story about these conflict characters, but they're telling it through a lens or they're telling it through a script that is completely outside of what you would expect. This is an anti-superhero fatigue movie because I don't care how much superhero fatigue you have, you have not been to see a superhero movie or a comic book movie about three characters who keep swapping every time they use their powers. You, you just haven't. I promise you, you haven't. <laughs> so that is a beautiful way to make... So it's not just about, hey, here's these three characters and this movie's going to be them teaming up it's that, yes, but it's got this twist, this this conceit to it that is making it something else entirely. And now, you know, it raises all the questions. Why is this happening? Is somebody doing this to them? How are they going to undo it? And what kind of fun 
combinations and misunderstandings and just situational events are they going to get themselves into because of it? And I'm here for all of that. I think I think you just sold it better than the trailer did. It, I like the idea of it. It just it it just didn't. Uh, I told you, it didn't hook me. That's all. I just didn't feel it. And um, I like the poster though. They released like a poster. I think. Yeah, and that was great. cool. I like the poster better than the trailer. We'll see. When does it come out? Is this this one November? Is that the? This is a November film. Um, it's yeah. Weird that the trailer is now like like it's such a weird time for a trailer because it's. It's like you didn't do it over Easter with like Mario Brothers, and you're not waiting for Guardians of the Galaxy to yeah. release it. You're like, hey, let's do it on this random day. So that's, I mean, that has nothing to do with whether or not I like the, the trailer. That has to do with it's just weird to me. Uh, but I'm, I'm guessing we're getting another trailer probably sometime in the summer or, or fall. And that's, that'll be the one that will make me Hulk smash or Hulk smash pass on the movie. But for now, the trailer. I, I unfortunately was a Hulk pass. I I try to like them, um, but this one you're a Hulk smash. I'm a Hulk pass. That's how we do it. We each t- <laughs> every time we do it, one will like one, one won't. Uh, 